Bye. Today I'm here to discuss if walking can help you lose weight. But before we get started, make sure you guys check out my free ebook. Email me the word ebook at contentperformance at gmail.com. That will provide you with my nutritional plan and a three month fitness plan for how to burn fat and build the muscle, along with tips and tricks that I use to help me stay fit. The email address is in the description below. Let's get straight to it. Walking 10,000 steps a day can help you lose one to two pounds a week. So listen, if you're new to fitness, if you're pregnant or you just gave birth, anything of that nature, you know, walking can help you lose weight. It can help keep you toned. And there's a lot of power and strength in just walking. I actually discovered walking after I had my first injury. I actually, what ended my career was I had to get three surgeries. I played football at Howard University in Washington, D.C. So when I had these three surgeries, these surgeries were going on for about a year or two, and I wasn't really able to work out like that. And I was starting to notice like a lot of changes in my body, and it was just a really tough time for me. So, you know, something that I was able to do was walk. And you know, my, I have the type of body where for me, when I'm, not, when I'm not working out, I tend to actually lose weight versus gain weight but I'll start to you know, get like skinny fat. So by me walking a lot more, it kept me lean, it kept my abs present, and it was just perfect for me, and it was also very therapeutic. So it was something that I would do, because I, I transitioned from playing football at a Division I school to now having to work a desk job. When I first started out, you know, I was, you know, I was in IT, and I'm still in IT as well, but just having that desk job, and something that just sitting so sedentary, you'll start to notice a lot of changes, you'll start to lose a lot of muscle. I will lose a lot of muscle, and I will shrink if I'm not working out or if I'm not doing anything to stay fit. Something that I would do is, I would actually continue to walk. So that's when I really got into walking and I made it intense by adding a weight vest to me or just holding dumbbells and walking. So yes, walking can really help you lose one or two pounds a week. And it's also good, I, I, use, I use walking for a lot of different things. You know, I use walking to help me clear my mind and also use walking to help catch up with my friends. You know, I'll call a friend up as I'm getting my steps in. So I really challenge you guys, you know, especially if you're new to fitness, if you're not that confident yet to go to the gym, Yes, I really recommend starting with walking because that's something that will really help you get in shape. There are some people in the world that all they do is walk. They don't, they don't work out, they don't lift weights, they just get their steps in. So I highly recommend walking. Tip number two, tip number two, make sure you pace yourself when you're walking. So listen, when I first started walking, I didn't start off doing 10,000, 12,000 steps a day. For the people that do 20,000 steps a day, shout out to you guys, because I'm not there yet. But um, I would definitely recommend, say, just start off with doing 5,000 steps a day. You know, I had a buddy of mine, a close friend of mine, you know, he was trying to get into fitness, he had put on a lot of weight, and I just said, hey, you know what, just start walking. So him and his partner actually started just walking around their condo building. He started noticing the changes, and he came back and he gave me, you know, feedback. He's like, thanks for your feedback. Thank you for helping me. The power of walking is so, you know, incredible. Also, walking can get boring. Like, if you don't have a friend to talk to, if you don't have a partner like everyone else, then you have to figure out other ways to make walking fun. Something that I did was I invested in a walking treadmill. So, you know, I like to watch TV when I can. I, unfortunately, I don't have time to watch TV. I'm not heavy on social media. I do post a lot of content on social media, but I don't always get a chance to like watch and consume a bunch of social media and TV. So something I did was, you know, when I bought my walking treadmill, I have a walking treadmill that's underneath my work desk. And you know, I use that as I'm at work. And then you know, later on in the evenings, I'll turn my walking treadmill around and I'll put the TV on. And if I have to get in, you know, 5,000 steps, that should take me anywhere, you know, like 40 minutes to 50 minutes. And that's a chance for me to, you know, watch an episode and that'll keep me entertained because if I'm just walking, after a while, I'm gonna get bored and I'm gonna stop. That's not realistic. In order for me, you have to have to be entertaining. So if it afford to be entertaining, something has to keep me entertained. So by having the treadmill, you know, in front of the TV, or uh, underneath my computer desk, that helps me keep that helps keep me interested. I'll put the link to the treadmill that I use in the description below, so you guys can tap in. You could you guys can actually get the exact same treadmill that I use. So that's tip number two. Tip number three. Tip number three is take the training wheels off. Listen, after you start doing five thousand steps, you start doing eight thousand steps, and you build up to ten thousand steps, guys, it's time to pick it up. So make sure you get my free fitness ebook. Email me the word ebook at contentperformance at gmail.com in the description below and I will send you my free fitness ebook and it's bodyweight exercises. It's a plan for three months with nutritional tips. So listen, pick it up. Like yes, I'm happy you guys are walking. I'm proud of you guys. And I've just noticed that you, a lot of you guys have negative talk. 
and you see, you say, hey, you know what, I can't do what I can never do what you do. No, you can do what I do. You have to pace yourself. So, you know, start with the steps, start with the steps, and then, you know, start slowly getting incorporated, you know, YouTube videos, you know, subscribe to my page. I have a bunch of fitness videos on there that you can follow along or get my ebook. Just do these things and that's gonna help you get in shape. Cause I didn't start, at first when I started, I couldn't do a push up. A lot of you guys see me, you think it was easy for me. You guys don't know that, you know, in high school, I was actually one of the weakest kids on the team. I couldn't do a push up. I couldn't bench 135, anything of that nature, but I had to push myself and build up to that point. So listen, it's about starting from somewhere and just gradually progressing. You guys will get there. Now people look at me like, oh man, you're so in shape, it's so easy for you. But it's like, it's because of all the times, you know, when I looked weak. But I, you know, I put the work in, I stayed patient, and I believed in the program, and I trusted the process, and I got there. Tip number four, tip number four, is be patient with yourself, guys. Listen, this is something I have to tell myself all the time. You know, I'm like, I mean, I'm walking 10,000 steps, I'm walking 12,000 steps, I'm in the gym, I'm doing that, I'm eating healthy, and I'm just, I'm not where I wanna be, I'm not getting the results I wanna get. Listen, that's the beautiful thing about the body, it takes time. It's like wine, you know what I'm saying? It gets better with time. So listen, you guys, keep putting the work in and you'll get there. Even me, myself, I have my doubts. I'm like, man, like, I'm, I'm not where I wanna be. Like, I wanna be here. And you know, you know, guys, make sure you're not looking to your left or to your right. Make sure you focus on yourself. Keep putting the work in, keep, you know, whatever that may be. Even if you say, hey, you know what, I'm gonna do 5,000 steps this week. Next week, I'm gonna do 5,500 steps. You know, whatever your version is of getting better, you know, but just keep pushing, keep pushing. Don't get satisfied, you know, just keep pushing. I understand, you know, fitness can be very scary. You know, I, you know, I actually have a coworker that I work with. I won't say any names, but, you know, fitness for her is just so scary. And she's like, man, I don't know how you do it. Like, you know, it's just so hard for me. And I just tell her, I'm like, listen, Keep pushing, like keep believing in yourself and you know, watch what you're saying, you know, speak positivity, speak life. Say, hey, you know what, today I'm gonna get my steps. Make a plan. I had to make a plan of like, okay, this is how I'm gonna get my steps. I have to do this many steps by 3 p.m. and then this is when I'm gonna get the rest of my steps. And just making it fun and, and building it in, you know, say, hey, you know what, for my lunch break, I'm gonna take a quick walk for 10 minutes and then after work, I'm gonna take a 20 minute walk. You know, building it in like that. That's how you're gonna get it done. So, you know, just challenge yourself pushing yourself. That's tip number four. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for hearing all of the tips that I had to offer. Those are the forces that you could use to really help implement walking for your weight loss journey to help you really lean up and tone up. So I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it in the description below. Yeah, I, I love feedback, guys. Let me know if that video was helpful. Let me know what you thought about it. And let me know something else that you need more information on. If there's something you're not sure about, leave it in the comment below and I'll get to you and I'll make a video on it. You know, I keep these videos coming out two to three times each and every week. So listen guys, subscribe to the page, make sure you hit the notification button so you can also see when the videos are dropping. And like I always say, content performance, we out.